today i'm going to be recreating this anonux eye makeup tutorial that she did making use of the sigma disney's the little mermaid eyeshadow palette i obviously do not have the eyeshadow palette so i'm going to be recreating it making use of my local eyeshadow palette here this is the adventure makeup city light eyeshadow palette and these are all the colors that you have in it. They are so beautiful. If you are interested, I want to see how you can recreate famous eyeshadow looks by using drugstore product or using your basic product that you have with you already. Then you definitely want to stick around and subscribe for more. Okay, so coming in close, so I'm just going to focus on my right eye. As you can see, you want to start first by ensuring that you have nothing on your eyelid. This is the most important step because you do not want to walk in on a dirty canvas basically so once you ensure that you have nothing on your eyelid the next thing you want to do is to prime your eyes i do not have an eyeshadow primer but what i make use of is my concealer that i usually use to conceal underneath my eyes i didn't see the reason why i need to go ahead and buy another expensive eyeshadow primer i mean it's good to buy it on some occasions when you have like glitter going on but for like my everyday looks i didn't see the point so i majorly make use of my concealer if you're wondering why you need to make use of a concealer is because you want to ensure that for someone like me there's a color we have like this pigmentation going on on our eyelids that makes our eyelid a bit darker than the rest of our face so i like to go in with a concealer to prep everything and so that can give me like a blank canvas to work with so the concealer i'm making use of today is the elegal pro concealer and this is in the shade pure beige i like this concealer because it comes with an applicator brush as well so this just makes it easier for me to work with so i'm just going to start by ensuring that i have enough on it and then just gliding it across my eyelid you can also use whatever you have left of your concealer brush just in case you've gone ahead to do your rest of your makeup before going to your eyes i don't know but i really love doing my eye first so that it just makes it easier for me to work with but just in case you already have like leftover concealer from your blending and your highlighting when doing your base makeup you can just go in whatever you have left on your makeup brush to just go back with this guy so after I ensure that I've covered everywhere that have the hyperpigmentation, I'm just going to wait for like a couple seconds to ensure that it's really dry so that when I'm blending it out, I'm not moving anything. It's the same way you want to wait for like one or two seconds when you apply your concealer underneath your eye. So after waiting for like one or two seconds, I'm going in with my concealer brush. This is the naked brush and this is what I used to conceal my brows you don't necessarily have to get this exact one but if you have any brush that is dense has this kind of round over top that is usually very good for blending and that one i make use of on some other days is the real techniques brush this one as well is quite similar with this one so if you have anything that kind of looks like any of these two be very perfect for blending okay so now that i've gotten that out of the way i'm just going so start blending this guy straight up by just dabbing it and not swiping it Okay, so i'm sure the difference between when you apply the concealer and when you don't apply the concealer this is the one that has the concealer and this is the one that does not have the concealer are you seeing the difference between the both of them this one looks like it's a bit darker and this one looks like it's similar or very close to my skin tone and that's what i want to achieve ensure that the concealer i'm making use of is one or two shades lighter or like higher than your skin tone so after blending it out we want to go in with any pressed powder a setting powder you have and i'm going in with this brush that i usually use to set my under eye this is the real techniques brush in 402 this is what i used to set my face set my under eye and most likely to set my eyelids as well so just getting any pressed powder you have i am one out of this guy and i desperately need to get another one too any pressed powder you have would do you just fine so after getting this i want to tap out the excess that you have on it and you just go and just tap it on your eyelid just so to set the concealer that you have there
this is one of the reasons why i like to get my eye makeup done first before any other day I did because of i don't really have to worry about any fallout happening on like my base makeup because that guy took me a lot of time to get done i don't really want to go back and be adjusting anything so that's just why that's another reason why i like to get my eye makeup done first but let me know what works for you in the comment section do you like to get your base makeup done by base i mean like your foundation your concealer your blush your contouring you like to get it done before your eyes you like to get your eyes done before your rest of your makeup okay so for today's makeup we're going to make use of our small brushes this kind of brushes will be your best friend this one is a soft slightly angled brush and this will be very needed if you are getting your wing done or under your waterline this kind of brush also can also do the same job as the other one this one is more bigger so if you want to deal with much more blending this is a more flatter one than the one i just showed you earlier and this will be what i'm going to be using to get the major part of the eye makeup done and this one is almost the same thing as the other one but like in a different color so if you have any of those brushes that's what you are going to need to get this makeup done if you have one or if you don't have everything but you just have one of it then just go back and forth and then use your wipes to just clean it off before you can go in the other shade of color okay so you need to go ahead and get so many brushes you can use one or two brushes to achieve this look okay so for this look i'm going in with the shade tayo from the adventures makeup city light eyeshadow palette and just start gliding it over softly on my lid i really hope this shows as clear as it is right here this color kind of looks like it's a silverish color from a distance but it has this bluish greenish undertone that gives mermaid vibes and that is in fact because she's making use of the sigma's disney the little mermaid color palette so that's why we are looking like this i'm just going to use this to just glide over the major part of my eye so you want to go in with a flat brush for this because it just helps to apply this perfectly well if you don't have this flat brush not to worry you can also make use of your fingers so after ensuring that i've packed this on my eye you don't want to go in with so much because want to still keep it soft and gentle i mean my soft and gentle eye makeup face i don't know about you but let me know what face you are in in this era of your makeup game just want to go in slightly and just tap this onto your lid for this actual step i advise that you go in bit by bit because if you're going so much you might not be able to control how well you spread this so what I did was after packing most of it from the palette, I tried to tap it on my on the back of my hand. So you can see that I have like pieces of the eyeshadow color on my hand here. That's because I'm just trying to ensure that I can control the amount I have on here so that you don't end up going with so much in places where you don't want to apply so much of it. So after I'm done applying, and this is what we're having right here with the shade tile and this is so beautiful and soft like i'm so in love with this color i've never really used this color i'm not even gonna lie but this color is so beautiful so going in with the next shade she used she made use of a soft looking blue color and for this i'm going to go in with the shade on my for this palette just taking most of it on this brush because we're going to be dealing with our wing right now so we're going to go in with our wings that's why i'm going to make use of this soft this very tiny slightly angled brush so like i said before tapping most of it on the back of my hand so that i don't have so much that i'm playing with initially so just going to angle this up like i said in my earlier video if you're struggling with getting your wing you can start playing with eyeshadows because they are forgivable and they are easy to play with compared to liquid liners or gel liners so i'm just going to use this to just create a perfect wing don't worry about the angle you are going in you can go in with sticky tape that works very well you can go in with sticky tape or you can go in with paper tape or an eyeshadow guide i don't have an eyeshadow guide but i'm going to show you how i can get this done because we're going to still clean it up when we are done with the makeup okay so just going in subtly to just give this a very slight wing that will still end up getting blended out and then when i'm happy with my wing i'm just going to come back here 
and connect it to the rest of my lid. So I'm just going back and forth whatever I have on the back of my hand because that's the amount I want to make it of today. So just going back and forth with it. So I have just the right amount of color that I want to use. If that makes sense. I'm going to just drag it to the center. So you see why I make you use a very small brush like this is very helpful because it's easier to control and you're not going to end up having to put this color in areas that you don't want it to be in. So this is what we are looking like right now with the tile and the Uma shade from this palette and we are looking so beautiful at this point like I am not want to be going back and forth with different colors on my eye but I think this is actually turning out so beautiful so for the next part of our tutorial I am going to go in with this actual black color this is the Garrick shade and as you can see I have overused that guy because on this way I don't want to go in with an actual eyeliner I make use of that guy to give me like this eyeliner look so just dabbing the excess on the back of my hand like I taught you guys earlier on and then I'm just going to go in underneath the blue carefully so it kind of looks like a gradient from like the black to the blue to the green if that makes sense so going with another kind of small brush and just doing this just so so be careful not to cover up the blue you have there completely just want to go slightly underneath it we still want our blue to be showing try and just go right above your lashes but don't make it don't make it so under your lashes that it affects this under part here she wants to just you can try opening your eye and just going right underneath it so that our blue will still be showing and our black will be showing as well i think i should have used like a flatter smaller brush for this because this is a very delicate part of this tutorial because we want our blue to show at the same time we want our black to be quite obvious okay so that's what i have been able to create if you feel like you've covered up your blue totally you can always go back and just touch it up a little bit so that it's still going to show like what I'm doing right now because the blue has to show by first by fire okay we're very mindful not to go in directly because we're dealing with very very sharp colors I have just made our blue to be much more obvious than before just because I applied the black so that's what you need to do just in case your black might have affected your blue so now that our blue is showing and our black is also showing as well so for my waterline she made it of a white color but for someone of my skin tone i have seen that making use of a white inner eye does not really work for me i just look like an alien so, so i'm just gonna skip that and just continue with the rest of my makeup so going back with the shade um, man this is the color blue i'm just going to go back and just line underneath my lash line and then use whatever i have left on my black eyeshadow brush to just smudge it over so it looks like a bit of dark blue i can see from this actual tutorial that i have here that she made this of a bit of shimmer from the knit her eye so i'm going to go in with this shade echo just slightly tap on it to just give me that dark greenish turquoise glitter feeling and then just go underneath my lash line okay so to clean so you just want to go in with your baby wipes and you can use this to just clean this part of your wing liner that you think you messed up 
so just using this to just clean this slightly you can see that it's going to perfect whatever it is that i think you messed up and i like to use it to just clean on the net here to give me much more cleaner on the eye so right now we are going into mascara and the mascara i'm making use of is the zara Lenin mascara just going to open my eyes really wide and just apply it just so i'm going to go in with lashes for today's look so i'm not really going to be doing so much on my upper lashes because i have seen that when i put up when i apply so much mascara on my upper lashes it tends to mess up with my first lashes later on so I'm just going to apply this in a very minimalistic way but for my lower lashes i'm just going to apply it in a very less minimalistic way if that makes sense okay so i went ahead to finish the rest of my makeup of camera and this is the final look for the both eyes this is a very very cute look it's definitely giving mermaid all i need is some mermaid to some mermaid costume and i'm off to the ocean it's actually my name of marco mermaids and h2o this is what we are going for today i went ahead to finish the rest of my makeup let me just show you guys what we have going on here so this is the base makeup that i have going on here another tip for you guys you know this girl is going to give you some extra extra tip and that tip i have for you guys is that whenever you are going with such kind of eye makeup that you know that it's not your usual kind of makeup or it's an attention seeking eye makeup like what we have here you want to keep the rest of your makeup like your your base makeup and everything very subtle very demure very mindful because you do not want to be having like a loud eyeshadow makeup and then have a loud base makeup when i say base like i said before your base requires your foundation your contouring your blush your highlight and uh, if i was going for a wedding party that the color of the day is turquoise green this would definitely be my eye makeup for that day because it looks like green but still looks like blue but you want to ensure that what you're wearing is not going to be clashing with the attention of your eyes you can also wear this with like a half lash kind of thing if you're not into i think i would definitely wear this some other time with like half lash because i want the world to see the beauty that we have going on so what i did was to add like a subtle powder blush for my blush collection and i didn't go with any contour just slight blush up with my cheeks pop as you can see it's very soft and then let me show you guys the blush so this is the blush palette i made use of so i just mix a bit of this color and this color for like a soft shimmery kind of thing that we have here and i did a very soft look dark pink glossy lip combo today like nothing too serious even my brows i didn't even do anything attention seeking because the star is on the eyes okay the eye is the star of the show so this is what we're having today let me know if i nailed it or if i destroyed it okay this is to show you that you do not need to go ahead and purchase so many eyeshadow palette you can recreate whatever you want to recreate with what you have in your drugstore in your neighborhood any palette you have and just ensure that you have a palette that has multiple colors and it will work for you like i said earlier i made use of the city light eyeshadow palette from adventure makeup i bought this here in lagos nigeria i'm going to leave a link to this eyeshadow palette below in the description box so do well to go check it out it's definitely more affordable than the disney the little mermaid eyeshadow palette that i can guarantee you and do not forget to leave a comment let me know what you think about this eyeshadow makeup i think i'll definitely make this a series of recreating famous makeup looks from popular eye makeup influencers so if you like this kind of video let me know by giving me a very big fat thumbs up by letting me and our god him know that you love this kind of content and if you're new hello thanks for watching this video and do not subscribe for more content like this because i'm all about using what you have to create the look that you want i mean even if you don't have kind of color yeah i can always mix one or two shades you now think about art <laughs> so that is what we have for this video if you want to see other simpler looking eye makeup looks for me click on this video here and i also leave a link to it below in the comment section so do want to go check it out and i'll see you right in that video thanks for watching this one bye for now